right, today we are going to dissect a building and we're going to talk from the outside in about that building and how moisture exerts itself uh, from the outside, from the inside, all the way around. So we're going to work through this product by product, service by service, so you understand exactly how the EnviroGuard products are used within the context of any building. It doesn't matter if it's residential or commercial, moisture uh, and building science don't change from one to the other. Okay, So let's go ahead and get started today by talking about EnviroSeal X4, where to use that product, how it performs, um, and how you can use that within your services successfully. So first of all, you're going to notice over here we've already drawn out um, a building. Okay, for this for this demonstration, it looks like a house, of course. But like I said, it doesn't matter if it's residential, commercial. Building science doesn't change. Um, I want to point out a couple areas uh, real quick that we're going to get started talking about here, and then we'll get into X4 itself and where to use it on the exterior. So first of all, you're going to notice that the black lines here represent the roof, the walls, the foundation, whatever the case may be. Everything that I outline in blue is going to be where these products are used. And I'll point that out as we go step by step um, so you have a greater understanding of each product. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with X4. All right? There's four things that we're going to be talking about related to X4 today. How X4 reduces moisture by 97% and that's going to be in terms of wind-driven rain. So when we're talking about wind-driven rain, let me use the right color, we're talking about water exerting pressure on the outside of the building envelope. Now, I'm also going to refer you to the Rylum 2 because this is the way that we measure for it both beforehand and after we have uh, treated the surface with X4. Beforehand, this is going to be affixed to the outside and we're going to um, uh, put a column of water in this that exerts uh, to, to about 90 some miles per hour of wind speed um, with moisture hitting the side of this structure. Right Now what happens is that as that moisture migrates from the column into the exterior here we get an idea of the moisture resistance um, of, of the surface in and of itself. Right, The natural engineering threshold of brick, the natural threshold of concrete, whatever, ephus, stucco, all of those materials. Then we're able to treat the exterior of this with X4, remeasure it using the Rylum tube and get that percentage reduction. So when we talk about reduces moisture by 97%, we're actually saying that in standardized testing, um, uh, X4 has been proven to reduce the amount of moisture through wind-driven rain into the side of a building um, by 97% across all uh, wind speeds, okay, beginning at hurricane force winds and working on down from there, okay? So that's how X4 works to reduce moisture by 97%. Now, on top of that, it prevents freeze-thaw damage. As you can imagine, when you're talking about, um, let's say, in, in a region like we're in North Carolina here, we're in the southeastern um, part of the United States, for the most part, the, the problems that we have are absorption of moisture into this surface and then um, how that works its way into inner wall mold and things of that nature, condensation within the building envelope, etc. Right? But the other side of this is in areas like the Northeast, the Midwest, where you have freeze-thaw cycles um, in the wintertime, what happens is that moisture penetrates this, uh, this brick, let's call it, okay, brick and mortar, um, stucco, ephus, what have you, and then that, uh, that, that water expands when it freezes, right? And then it contracts again uh, when, when temperatures go above freezing, and then it expands again uh, when it freezes, and that happens all winter long. Um, one of the property management companies that we work with and that we actually did testing with on this originally called that exploding brick. They had a tremendous problem with exploding brick um, on, on the outside of their apartment buildings. Um, so it corrects that issue. So let's just kind of go one by one here. Reduces moisture by 97%, prevents freeze-thaw damage. And when you're talking about preventing freeze-thaw damage, of course you're talking about increasing the longevity of these materials, right? If the moisture can't get trapped in these materials to begin with, um, then of course we're going to extend the service life of these materials as well. So we've got another benefit for increasing the value of a property over time 
as well, or, or sustaining the value over time. And then finally, helps prevent inner wall mold. Well, if the moisture can't make its way to both the cold side and the warm side of the building envelope, if it just stays and runs off that surface, now we've got less impact. We've got enough impact that we're going to talk about in just a little bit here through moisture release on the inside of a building. You don't want to be adding to that and accumulating more moisture because moisture is working its way from the cold side to the warm side of the wall. So um, let's stop there right now and we'll go into the next product.